All right, let's watch this. The tragic transformation of Nikocado Avocado from 155 pounds to 352 pounds. All right, let's watch. So without further ado, let's make some mac and cheese. Yo, his chest is hairy. Here we go. I have gained weight and I don't even know why. You guys know my weight's been spiraling out of control. You eat a lot. Because my life is a disaster. There's no cure. This bleeds right in your brain. I miss the old Nick. Yada 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 yada. Oh. Yada 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 Chad, does anyone watch Nikocado Avocado? I only see him ever on like TikTok when people are making fun of him, to be honest with you. Approximately two weeks ago, while sitting in his $2.3 million penthouse apartment, Nikocado Avocado would upload a video weighing himself to his channel with over 2.5 million subscribers. 352.4 pounds. 352. I think not. His weight of 352 pounds is in stark contrast to his beginning weight of between 150 and 160 pounds. When I started mukbangs, I was 150 pounds. Maybe 160. Yeesh. Can't really remember. When he was a modest vegan living a fairly simple life in Colombia. He'd moved there way back in 2014 after meeting his then boyfriend Orlin in a vegan Facebook group. I feel like bro looks kind of good fat. Is that weird to say? I feel like some people look good fat and some people don't. He looks good fat. For men, but problematically, he don't look good skinny. Avocado didn't have much to do in Colombia. So he began to upload videos of himself to the YouTube website, playing violin and discussing the many aspects of veganism. This is my first ever mukbang 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 i actually don't know how to pronounce it but anyways um where he would state that prior to becoming a vegan he considered himself somewhat overweight most people that watch my channel know that i'm vegan i've been vegan for almost four years like another month or two would be like four year mark totally changed my life i used to be obeso i used to be like <laughs> Like Don't worry, you're gonna get there soon. While it was certainly a benefit that veganism helped Nikocado lose weight and was assisting him in staying thin, as he continued to maintain the vegan diet, it would go from a blessing to a curse. Yeah. I rotted a tooth. I had low B12, B12 deficiency. I developed hypoglycemia. I don't know if it's directly related to the veganism, but I never had that before. At a later date, Nikocado explained that being vegan had resulted in numerous immediate health issues. In addition to this, Nikocado explained that he found the 2016 online vegan community to be extremely toxic. They are. Why do vegans have to make everything about veganism? I feel like if you're a vegan, your whole personality just screams you're a vegan, bro. Like you have nothing, nothing going for yourself. It's just you're a vegan. You feel me? I respect. If we have any vegans in here that are chill, you know what I mean? Respect to you. You know what I mean? But a lot of y'all annoying this shit. And that goes for a lot of things. Hey, don't just stop at veganism. I'll be honest. Yo, you know what I'm talking about. Much more to life than veganism. And as a result, he ended up renouncing his vegan status and leaving the community of vegan YouTubers. No other community have I ever seen it like this. I thought it was they're all vegans, but it's just vegans in general on YouTube. I gotta leave you guys. After a one month break, the first of many non-vegan mukbang videos would show up on the Nikocado Avocado channel. And while he had made the decision to begin eating meat, he would still maintain a relatively clean diet, often inclusive of vegetables and rice. One red onion, carrots, minus that green one, which we don't use. Broccoli, cauliflower, fresh peas. Nikocado Avocado stuck out like a sore thumb as a mukbanger because in the beginning, the video type was almost entirely dominated by females. Additionally, Nikocado would almost always have his pet parrot sit on his shoulder while he ate, the absurdity so of assisting him in standing out from the crowd. When discussing his first mukbang video, Nikocado Avocado would state, my very first mukbang got like 50,000 views in a couple of weeks, which was a lot for me at the time. And everyone was asking, when's the next mukbang? Which ultimately resulted in the continuation of the series. However, as mukbangs became the dominant video type on- Is the parrot still alive or did he eat that motherfucker too? His channel, his weight would begin to steadily increase. In The Psychology of Mukbang Watching, published in January 2020, the study found that the viewer's vicarious pleasure demanded a large quantity of unhealthy food to be consumed. And from a relatively uninformed outsider's perspective, the meta seems to be the bigger the better. No one wants to spend two minutes watching someone eat a bowl of cereal. The most popular videos go for more than half an hour and include ridiculously oversized portions, Holy the reason shit. for which being because it creates connection and possibly even a guilt-free environment 
and seeing other people eat very large portions of unhealthy food messily and open to public. That's what it is for, ill. Is that, do y'all watch that while eating? Y'all are sick. I'm seek fucking help. Therapy now. It's not okay. Maybe it is okay. Maybe, you know what? I'm talking on my, go ahead, watch that bitch eat some shit. Not, not Nicocado Avocado, but like some other bit. Well, you can watch him too. I mean, watch them and then you eat too. My fault. Began to eat more and more in every single video posted to the channel. There's 45 here. We're going to see how many we can eat. So here we go. Let's start. Let's yes. start. <laughs> in addition to this, he would begin to swap out many of the clean, relatively healthy meals in exchange for fast food. Seen in examples such as X Vegan Eats Burger for the first time in 10 years, which was followed by three other fast food mukbangs and a 10,000 calorie challenge. Holy Seven shit. months after switching to full time mukbang videos, Nikocado Avocado seemed to naively believe that he maintained his original weight of 160 pounds. However, while doing a mukbang at the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas, Nikocado Avocado would step on their scale, at which point he would be confronted with reality. So let's see how much I weigh. I don't even know. I think 160, maybe 160. Weigh yourself here. So we're going to step right up. Oh, shit. How much is... Damn! Damn! That has to be wrong. You got he doesn't even look that fat! He's on 200 pounds. My fault. When revisiting the article discussing the psychology of mukbang oh, watching, Oh brother, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube and they're gonna be like, you're fat shaming, you're fat shaming. I'm not bro. I'm just saying damn, that's it. I'm just saying like, he don't even look that big and he weighed 200, which is crazy. It's like deceptively big. You see what I'm saying? It's like, if that motherfucker sat on you, you probably can't get up. You're like, damn, you look like about 150. Bitch, what, how much you weigh? And he like, shit, about like a cool 200. 205 you feel me and i'm like oh my like, oh wow you know but like not in like a fat shaming way but like it fuck it drag me on twitter i don't care anymore the authors also claim that mukbang videos affect viewers perception of food consumption and thinness because mukbangers who are very thin and slim consumed very large portions of food and did not gain weight which is without a doubt the spell that nikocado avocado had found himself under being a naturally skinny guy who had seen others doing large mukbangs without gaining any weight might have convinced him that he was immune to growing his very own large beer belly but when you're at the point of eating 10,000 calorie meals for your channel, your quote unquote Yeesh. fast metabolism isn't going to be there to save you. Yeah, the you problem know. was that rather than seeing this as a genuine issue and an indication that he might want to slow down on the insane portion sizes, Nikocado Avocado would simply integrate it into his content with the goal of gaining yeah. more views. He would upload two videos shortly after becoming conscious of his weight, stating, I'm getting fat and I don't know why, as well as say hello to my double chin, where he would unironically state that he thought it was just stress or water weight and that food wasn't the problem. I'm hoping i'm praying that this is just water weight that this is water weight and it comes hoping off. bro that's sad just not being so stressed because stress is our number one killer that's it's, not our number one uh, killer. diabetes is about to be your killer chips no our number one killer is stress also believing that his weight gain was some kind of medical mystery there is a medical mystery going on there is something chemically imbalanced in me i should probably go get my thyroid checked which were both pathetic justifications for the reality being that is he's he simply serious too much food nikocado avocado concluded the video by stating you better enjoy it while it lasts because i tell you it will not last i I'm gonna find a way to lose this weight. However, with the same diet, the mindset that it was stress or water weight or a medical mystery, and yet another 10,000 calorie challenge only three videos later, nice. obviously the weight gain continued. But it wasn't only his weight that was Holy causing shit. him health problems. Nikocado Avocado would upload a video simply titled, I'm too sick Ew. to the hospital, which in true nature of the 2017 YouTube algorithm would gain a whopping 21 million views. Not only did this video further assist in making Nikocado Avocado somewhat of a household name, but it also showed him the drama and imagine going on your fucking channel you're like oh my god i can't wait to eat with, with nikocado avocado i can't wait and then you just see this <laughs> you're like, blah, 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 throw a ball over your fucking computer <laughs> would gain a sorry views. Not only did this video further assist in making Nikocado Avocado somewhat of a household it name, grows. but it also showed him that drama and talking about subjects other than mukbanging would still garner an audience as long as they involve drama. Nikocado would create a playlist or channel subsection literally titled Upset Feelings, where dramatic videos displaying the apparent problems he was having, such as specific arguments with his boyfriend, often gained substantial view counts. Nikocado Avocado uploaded videos such as What My Husband Did To Me and I'm Getting Deported, stating later that when Whenever he found himself in a bad mood, his first natural inclination was to grab the camera. Yikes. If anyone already hates me or I'm already dramatic, let me just grab the camera and just like film it. So some of them are like really 
really real for me. Filming his low points became a regular occurrence on the Nikocado Avocado channel, which unfortunately included his continual weight gain. 12 months had passed since his last 206 pound weigh-in at the Heart Attack Grill, but it was visually clear that he was now substantially heavier. Oh, that looks so good, bro. his weight in a mukbang Q&A, the result was certainly anticipated. How much do you weigh now? Well, do you want to go, should I weigh myself in front of you? I gotta go get the scale. Last time I checked, it was like 268. Damn. Damn. It was almost Damn. 70. Damn. 268 pounds. Nikocado Avocado was 110 pounds. Heavy. Can I say something real quick? Oh, fuck it. I don't care if I get canceled or whatever. Fuck, eat my ass. There, there was a TikTok that fucking got uploaded. Uh, I uploaded to YouTube and it's like a bunch of fucking people projecting. If you look in the comments, they're just projecting, talking about some, oh my God, what is she saying? She's so mean. She doesn't know when you're poor, whatever the fuck, right? Because the bitch said, why are you fat and not eating at home? It doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Saying like she's poor. So you got a whole lot of fucking, oh, I'm gonna just say it, fuck it. There's a whole lot of fat bitches in the comments talk about something well you don't know well when you're poor it's cheaper to eat at mcdonald's and first of all if we're being honest bitch i think a little bit of rice and fucking chicken is a little bit cheaper than fucking mcdonald's if we if we talking about if you buying it weekly three fucking meals a day type shit if we're fucking portioning shit out if we're being realistic here motherfucker secondly Okay, but if we're going with your cope shit and saying you're eating McDonald's every fucking day, they're talking about some, oh my God, fast food is hella expensive and that shit adds up. But they're in the fucking comments talking about some, when you're poor, you can only afford cheap foods like McDonald's and you don't understand because it's really bad and unhealthy and that's how you get fat. Uh, no, you get fat from eating too much, bitch. If you, obviously, if you don't have any underlying health problems, obviously I'm not talking about that. You know what I mean? If you have underlying health problems, maybe thyroid issues, all that shit, yes. But that's few and far between, you feel me? And and if you do, maybe go get that shit checked out by a doctor and medical professionals obviously but for the vast majority that was in the comments projecting talking about some oh my god it's cheaper and some blah 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 no you're fat because you're eating too much you dumb bitch fuck out of here you big bitch fuck out of my goddamn comment section fuck wrong with these people eat an apple eat two i promise you if you ain't fucking if you start eating half the fucking food you ate every fucking day you'd probably lose a little bit of fucking weight maybe go for a fucking walk Walk every single day and cut your fucking portions in half. Cut your fucking calories in half and then see if you fucking keep on gaining weight. Yeah, you'll probably start fucking miraculously losing it. It's crazy how fucking shit works. I'm sorry. The fucking, the comment section was literally projecting so fucking hard. You're like, oh my God. I can't believe when you're poor and you can't eat a lot. And how the fuck does that make sense? I grew up poor as shit. I barely fucking ate. That's why I was skinny. I have pictures of my fucking ribs poking. I was like a fucking little kid. Like, uh, yo. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. If I get canceled, whatever, fuck. I feel like a lot of people put their problems on stupid shit instead of facing the reality that maybe I'm fat because I eat too goddamn much. Obviously, not talking about the health-related issues, okay? Not talking about that. But I'm talking just for an average fat person that doesn't work out and eats too much. Maybe the problem is that you eat too fucking much and you don't work out. And if it, and it's fine. Let me tell, let me say this real quick. It is fine to be fat, but if you don't like it, then just fucking stop eating so much and go to the gym. You accept yourself for how you are, bro. It's cool. Just don't fucking be in my comments projecting and shit. That's all I'm saying. My fault. I'm going on a rant. Can we go back to this motherfucker behind me? Been at the start, a weight gain. Nikocado Avocado was 110 pounds heavier than he had been at the start, a weight gain equivalent to the size of an average adult leopard. If he were to add another 50 pounds to that, his body weight would have doubled since the beginning. However, Nikocado was positive that he would never cross the 300 pound mark, and if he did, he guaranteed everyone that he would officially make a ch- I don't think I will ever be three, 300. If I am, Trust me, we're gonna make major changes. However, Nikocado Avocado hadn't changed his eating habits whatsoever and would simply continue eating larger and larger quantities, justifying his awful diet and overeating by stating that his body had some arbitrary stopping point where he apparently knew when he was eating too much. My body seems very comfortable eating the amount I do, has a very strong stopping point, and if I overstuff, I notice I don't get hungry till later in the next day. Which was obviously once again just another lie he told himself to deal with the reality of his own situation. Yeah. To assist with his mukbangs as his weight grew, Does Nikocado he have like an eating Avocado disorder? would also purchase a chair rated to hold a person who weighed up to 400 pounds. I got the, the chair for 400 pound people because I said, okay, it's gonna hold, if it's holding up big people, it's gonna hold me up, definitely. And Nikocado Avocado was certainly going to need this seat as less than 12 months after claiming he got to 300 pounds, he'd upload a video titled, I'm 299.9 pounds, will I finally reach 300 after this meal? This video not only showed that all of Nikocado Avocado's previous claims about water weight, stress, diets, understanding his body, etc, etc, were completely wrong, but it also revealed a much darker reality. He had accepted his size and saw his weight as a joke, even going so far as to say that he now wanted to hit 300 
200 pounds. 294 pounds. Jeez. Pound. What? Why am I losing weight? Why can't I hit 300? In the process, Nikocado Avocado had done the actual calculations on how long it would take for him to get back to his starting weight. Let's do some math. How long is it gonna take me to lose my weight? If I have to lose 120 pounds, and I have to do five pounds a month, let's do 120. What is the hit? What is happening? What are these videos, bro? <laughs> is it about the food anymore? <laughs> what is his hair? What is happening to the, like, behind me? By five. How many? Uh, <laughs> two years? That's 24. I have to lose weight for two years. I'm just not gonna do it. How about that? <laughs> How about it? so much better? <laughs> Concluding that he had passed a point of no return and it was better for him to embrace his weight for the views as opposed to going to the effort of losing it. I'm that and I don't care anymore. I want to get to 300 and then 400 and then 500. That's good. You know what I mean? If you fat, just just enjoy being fat then. Fuck it. 600. I support you. I'm in the one that's like, who cares now? Too late. I ain't going back. Yeah, this fuck unsurprisingly it. Big caused bitch. further complications in his relationship. Mm. Discrimination. No one discriminates that thing. Ouch, man. So what's next? The card's fat phobic? Is the card fat phobic? I put it, I, I, shh. In an interview with Men's Health, Nikikato explained that, unsurprisingly, his sex life had taken a hit after becoming a muckbanger. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I just picture him looking down like, where am I to go? Where am I, where am I to go? <laughs> Additionally, the amount of videos in which Nikocado and Orlan argued or broke up or fought publicly <laughs> increased uh, substantially. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. Damn. Okay, with me. I'll sleep just fine tonight without that notion. I used to be so happy without you. You were such a mistake. However, Damn. despite the monstrous weight gain and crumbling relationship, it was likely difficult to change his behavior as from a financial perspective, his bank account was skyrocketing. You know, I sit up here in my tower and watch everyone struggle and be poor. Okay, now I can make fun of his weight because he's making fun of me being poor. You big hefty bitch. Big body wide refrigerator body bitch. Bob the builder bitch. Two ton fridge bitch. You f I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's so entertaining. I, I hear you breathing like Darth Vader, you big bitch. I love watching poor people. I love watching them chins clap. I was wondering, I was like, damn, it, why he clapping? I thought he's recording. No, it's your fucking chins when you speak, bitch. They struggle. Oh. You struggling to breathe, bitch. I just need popcorn. I could sit here and watch them struggle. You don't need no more food, you big bitch. Okay. Nikocado Avocado would announce that he he had purchased a $2.3 million penthouse apartment in Las Vegas after adding yet another 50 pounds to his body weight. Finding chairs that could hold my size was such a nightmare because I'm 300. 50 almost. Damn. A comment on the video stating, enjoy your house, bro. You got not much time left. Perfectly encapsulates the conundrum of Nikocado Avocado. It sums up the dilemma that Nikocado Avocado has found himself in, being the exchange Jeez. of health for money, or on an even deeper level, the exchange of health for meaning. Sure, Nikocado Avocado could quit doing mukbangs tomorrow. He'd probably lose a bunch of weight considering his weight gain is anchored to the work, but really, like, what's he gonna do? Go back to busking with a violin in New York City? It's not really realistic. He always yeah, had that chin unrealistic is the idea that he can continue to mukbang every day without it eventually resulting in something that would take him out of the game altogether. He lost a lot of weight though. He lost a lot of weight. Okay, since we're at the end of the video, I do want to, like, I want to have a serious moment chat. If we do have anyone that feels like they're fat or whatever the fuck, understand that that doesn't fucking define you as a person, okay? And if you do want to lose weight, like, if you truly want to lose weight, go ahead, man. Hit the fucking jib, you know what I mean? If you don't, then fuck it, you know what I mean? I honestly think I like me some pushing for the cushion. You feel me? Bring that ass over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm trying to for real <laughs> seriously it, it don't let it uh, i feel like a lot of people get caught up with like numbers on a scale and all that shit if you're healthy and you're happy in life that's really all you need